got something more than go. My brother, my sister, my friends, Jesus is more than go. So to press the word as my soul longs for you forever and ever Lord my heart beats for you as the deepest the word as so my soul longs for you forever and ever my heart beats for you something more than God Hey. If all I've got is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. And I'll tell it to you guys, Jesus is more than gold. God bless you, go ahead and share. Go ahead and share. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. We are looking for 200 souls to start the broadcast. Sorry, I am 30 minutes behind time because it's not been easy, just me and myself. Come on, tell the Lord to locate you. Tell the Lord that the storm must be over. God more than as you tune in, just go ahead and share so that people can see that we are live and tuning. Make sure you're sharing. Share, 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 share so deep. I am so ready. I am very ready. I am ready to prophesy. And I hope that you're ready to receive. God bless you. Go ahead and share. Host a watch party. <clears throat> Make sure you're hosting a watch party. Make sure you're inviting someone. Make sure you're sharing. Just do as you are told to do. Share. Host a watch party. I'm reading your comments. Let me see your locations where you're watching me from. Let me see where you're tuning in today. Let me see where you're tuning in from today. I have noticed that some of you, you don't share. If I don't see Shara by your name, I will not prophesy. So if you are here and you feel that you don't have a group, some of you will say, I am new to Facebook. Who cares if you're new to Facebook? You're new to Facebook, but you located my broadcast on Facebook. You're new to Facebook. You cannot join a group and be sharing the broadcast. Don't waste your time. Whatsoever you bring to Evan Chapel is what you will get. You not sharing the broadcast of Evan Chapel is like you waiting at the stadium. It's like you waiting at the stadium of your villages for the sea train. You not sharing the broadcast of this ministry is like you waiting at the stadium for the sea train. And you know that is impossible. There is no how you will board a sea train from the stadium. So if you're waiting at the stadium for the sea train, it is easier for you to, to board it than for you to be in the seven chapel without sharing. Some of you, you have been here for a long time. I don't see Shara by your name. Don't waste your time. Even if I prophesy to you by mistake, I decree and declare that it will not happen in the name of Jesus. I don't know who you are ashamed of. Who. Me, as you're seeing me like this, I am too beautiful for you to be ashamed of. Hmm? If there is anybody in this life you should be proud of, you should be proud of a beautiful woman of God who is saving God in spirit and in truth. So if you are ashamed of yourself, leave my broadcast. Don't be here. 
And I'm not begging people. Oh. Even if I have one soul that is standing by me to save the Lord, it's okay. Than a thousand million of people that will come without evangelizing. Some of you, I saw your pro, your your post. Some of you, I saw your post on 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 the thing yesterday. You say, "Oh, woman of God, I have been here for so long. I want you to locate me." And I went to your page to go and check because I want. I saw your file. I wanted to prophesy to you, but I, when I went to your page to go and check, I see that you don't share the video. You are here. And you don't share the video on your timeline. Sweetheart, don't waste your time. Go and sleep. Look for another broadcast on Facebook and follow. Not this one. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. I am, I am an evangelist. A prophetess evangelist. I teach you how to do the work of God. And God will bless you in return. So if you are just there and you are looking for a place that they will prophesy to you. That is why they have been prophesying to you and it is not happening. Mm -hmm. this your attitude is the reason they have been prophesying to you and you are not seeing it happening because you are just to receive to receive to receive you are not ready to give and God is not interested in souls like you God is interested in people that are kingdom conscious the Bible says that he that winned a soul is wise he that winned a soul is wise so if you're here and you don't share my broadcast, don't even waste your time and say, woman of God, I'm here. Woman of God, locate me. I am not the one that locates. And my prayer is that, my prayer is that God visit those who work for you. That is what I pray for. I am not ready for, for selfish people, confused people who don't know what they want. No, sweetheart, we cannot roll like that. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Good afternoon. God bless you. Um, I don't know how we're gonna do this. I'm actually on the broadcast. Um, I'm having a live program for the next two to three hours. Can I drop a message for you when I'm done? Yes, but it is not gonna be on this number, okay? I would rather look you up on WhatsApp, okay? All right, sure. Sounds good. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Bless you. So I'll be having appointments like this with people to do something meaningful for my life. But I will kick out the appointment just to be here for you so that God will bless you. So that God will change your story. So that God will make things to work for you. And you would come here and you would tell me that you cannot share. You cannot share and you want to receive. Who shame Abe? Eh? Who shame Abe? Where are my Bini people and my Do people? Who shame Abe? You are ashamed of yourself. You are not ashamed of me. Oh. This, eh, 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 all of you, you will come. That girl, I just saw her comments. I file open. I wanted to prophesy to her. But when I went to her page, I see that she doesn't share the broadcast. And she's saying, my love for this woman of God is too much. Who do you love? If you love me, you will share the, the broadcast of God. If you love me, you will do the work of God with me. You don't love me. Don't bring fake love to me. All of you that are telling me you love me and you don't share my broadcast, I'll be snapping your, your chat and be posting so that you will know that this thing is by force. You must do evangelism, whether you like it or not. How come you guys are not engaging the broadcast? What's going on? We are not engaging the broadcast. What's going on? We are not engaging the broadcast. It will cut on us. If we are not engaging, it will cut on us. So please make sure that you engage as much as you can. Otherwise, it's going to cut on us. It will make us to freeze. The thing will go off and come back. So please don't let it go off. Just engage. Forget about those who are here for, to confuse you. You know that some people, they just come to admire me. Some people, they come to just look at my face. So forget about those kind of people. Me, I have heard I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm tired of I love you. If you love me, show it. Don't tell me you love me when you cannot show it to me. And I'm tired of hearing I love you. So sweethearts, please, let's engage so that we can do fast, fast and go. Evangelism and soul winning is the heartbeat of Jesus. It is better for you to go to, to travel to your country without a visa than for you to be located on this heaven chapel he that winneth soul is wise he that does not win soul is foolish 
of all the things in the Bible, you see that the Bible talked about foolishness. The Bible, there is where you will see foolish, 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 foolish. A wise man builds his house upon the rock. A foolish man builds his house on the sand. He that winneth so is wise. So be a wise man. Don't be a foolish man. Be a wise woman. Don't be a foolish woman. Don't allow the devil to rob you. Some of you, your stars, your destinies have been long toward it. You need to do something that will cast heaven for your sake. You need to do something that will open heaven for your sake. Because the enemy that is fighting you is not sleeping. You too don't sleep. Provoke God. Provoke heaven. In as much as I have the love to come here and pray for you every day, you must have the love to support the work of God. This is my point. You must work for God. Whether you are my son or whether you are my daughter, anything that you have, whoever that you are, from today henceforth, if you don't share my broadcast on your timeline, because some of you, you will do, you will share to groups. You don't share on your timeline. Share on your timeline. Let your pastors know that your, your prayer is not working for you. So you are going elsewhere for prayer. Some of you, they don't even know you by name, by person. Some of you, you have never reached your pastors. You don't have connection with your pastor. But you are there promoting them. And then you come here and you tell me, Mommy, I love you. Prophesy for me. Prophesy. Okay. You too, go and prophesy for yourself. I don't like cheats. Even in a relationship, I cannot deal with a man that cheats. I cannot deal with a woman that cheats. I don't like cheats. So don't come here. Don't be a thief. Don't come here like a thief. Let me give you guys a testimony. So yesterday I was on the phone with somebody. And I was just feeling to get off the phone. I was just feeling to get off the phone. Like you know when you are talking to someone and all of a sudden you are not, you are not like it again. Something kept telling me to get off the phone. And I wanted to do something with somebody. So I got off the phone. As soon as I got off the phone. One of the guys that was sending angry faces last year on the broadcast because I refused to let him collect money. He's a Yahoo boy. He's a Yahoo boy. He came here and said, and I told him, you're doing Yahoo. And I am not for it. And I'm not going to help you to collect the money. Go and repent. He got mad. They went. They joined force with whoever they joined force with. They started hosting a watch, uh, a, a, the broadcast. Anytime I'm live, these guys are live. They start hosting a, a live broadcast over Evan Chapel and doing so many things. So when I got off the phone yesterday, I saw his message. He said, woman of God, I am sorry. Whatever I have done, please forgive me and pray for me. My life is about to be gone at the hospital. And I replied to him, I said, I can never pray for you. When I said I can never pray for you, he gave the phone to the mother. He gave the phone to his mother. As a mother, my heart was broken. The mother cried on the phone. The mother yelled on the phone. The mother yelled on the phone and she was wailing, crying. Man of God, please pray for him. Forgive him whatever he did, whatever he said to you, please forgive him. They said he doesn't have no blood. And they, we had a revelation that if they put blood in him, he's going to die. Please pray for my son. Woman of God, please pray for my son. Please forgive him and pray for him. The woman begged me on the phone. My heart was broken. And I told the woman, okay, get water. She got water. And I, I blessed the water. I said, give it to him to drink. They gave him the water to drink. Three minutes after they have given him the water to drink. I was on the phone. He said he wants to eat. And they said he has not eaten for, for a week. He has not eaten. But after I blessed the water for him, he says he wants to eat. He said he is hungry that he wants to eat. So I told the woman, the woman said, can I give him food? I said, you can give him. So they went and they got him food. And he ate the food yesterday. And this morning I woke up to his message. Telling me, you are a true woman of God. The same people that raised war last year. They were using this broadcast. They were doing so many things. But look at it. It is the same me. 
that he called for prayer. As you are connecting to this program, the Lord will give you a solution that only you will have answers to. And your enemies will come back to you and say, please, I need your prayer. God will give you a solution to the problems of your enemies. And you are the only one that will have access to their problem. Please engage the brokers and share the brokers. Engage the brokers and share the brokers. You guys are almost getting 300. Keep doing it. So I prayed for him. Three minutes after I prayed for him. Three minutes after I prayed for him, he requested for food. Seven days he did not eat. I am telling you that may the Lord God Almighty, whom you have come to break the storm, may God give you a solution to your enemy's problems. May the Lord give you a solution to your enemy's problems. That they will come back and they will say, Oh, Sister Mary, I know that you are close to the woman of God. Please, can you help me? To ask her to pray for me. May the Lord give you a solution that your enemies will come and confess. And say I was the reason for your problem. But right now I am told that if you don't pray for me that I cannot be saved. May the Lord give you a solution. That will make people to understand that he is in heaven. Today as I am talking to you now. He wrote his testimony. And I told him if I need to post your testimony. I will post what you did. He was begging me. I have seen some of them like that. I have seen so many people like that. They will come here. They will write nonsense. Some of them will disguise themselves with fake ID, fake name. They will use Twitter, Twitter, come here. Evelyn Owa, come here. Testa, Testa, come here. They will begin to write nonsense, comment nonsense. As soon as I am done with the brokers, they will call or message Oh man of God, please. I was not available when you blessed the water. But I have my water right now. Please, can you bless it for me? My daughter is giving up. My wife is doing this. My wife is... But they are not supportive. When you say share, they are the ones who will laugh and ridicule and mock you. But you see in this heaven chapel, there are so many ways to you receiving. I'm a very, very easy woman. Oh. I am very easy going. I have a very good spirit. I told you people one secret to releasing heaven for your sake. Love for all. Hatred for none. Despite the fact that I did not want to pray for that guy. Because of what he did last year. And you guys remember the person I'm talking about is the one that the wife is in the UK. The one that wanted me to, to, to destroy the lawyer for her. She, 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 she lied on the lawyer and she came here. She said, woman of God, I know that you can do something so that this lawyer will just do. And I told her, I will, I will not do something on an innocent man. She went and she went and wrote nonsense. Today she apologized. So long as my hands are clean and you tarnish my God. That is why I wrote the post that I wrote. Don't rubbish God. You will fail. Satan rubbish God and he failed. If you rubbish God, you will fail. Some of you, you use people's prophecies and you go and tease them. Some of you, you will sit down and you will cook up stories. You have different manners of tactics to get viewers. And by putting down another person, you want the Lord to showcase you. You will fail. Promotion does not come from the east, not south, nor the west. Promotion comes from God. Promotion comes from God. Promotion comes from God. I see people posting videos, promoting videos, promoting pictures, promoting profiles. It is okay to do it. But my stand is that we can do this thing for God without having to spend that money. So why can we not do it? And use that money to, to, to feed the poor. She came here. She said, woman of God, please help me. And I looked at the case and my God says the lawyer is not wrong. She's trying to scam the innocent lawyer. The husband begged me. I said, no, I am going to expose your wife. You guys know me. I came on Facebook. I posted it. You must surely reap what you sow. Unless I have any other God beside the living God. Unless I have ever gone to the shrine for power. 
unless I have ever visited a native doctor or anything. But if my grace, as much as I ran from God, I say, I do not want to save you. And God kept coming. He said, no, you must do it. So long as I hold on to that God, <laughs> they that fight against me have God to contend with. She could not sleep. She could not eat. The husband kept begging me. She said, please, mommy. Mommy, please do this for me. Mommy, my wife is running mad. Help her. After the Maryland program. After the Maryland program. So many people do not doubt my prophecy. All the ladies that I told last year, I said, this marriage, this relationship that you're going into, it is not going to flourish. All of them, they lose that relationship. All of them, back up. I prophesied to my daughter. I said, if you want me to choose for you, I will tell you, leave this man. She said, no, mommy, I want this man. I said, okay. The man didn't call her for one year, six months. I prayed and asked God on this live broadcast. I said, I command your husband to call you. The husband called her. And when the husband came back, I told her, this man is going to leave you. The man left her. All the people that came here for relationship, I told them, go and sow a seed. They went and sowed a seed. All of their relationship were fake. All of them were in a wrong relationship. All of them were with a wrong man and woman. The relationship scattered like that. Back up. All their relationship scattered like that. I did not tell them, leave the man, oh. I did not tell them, leave the woman. I said, go and sow a seed. When it is plantation time, when it is time for plantation, you put corn on the ground, right? You put a lot of corn. You put a lot of pumpkin. You pour tomato. You pour pepper. Some of them will germinate. Some of them will die, right? This is what seed does. If the person is right, it will germinate. If the person is wrong, it will die. The man will go like that. I don't waste my time. I will not decide for you. Because it is the hearts of kings and queens is in the hands of God. I just tell you, go and sow for your relationship. Go and sow for your marriage. If it is the person, the right person that God wants for you, the seed will be fruitful. If it is not the right person that God wants for you, they, they what? the relationship will die. It will do what? It will die. You will be there out of nothing. The man will stop calling. You will be there out of nothing. The woman will stop calling. All their relationship was fake. And they gave their body oh, inclusive. They gave their body. And the man left. Which one is more painful? You don't want a foundation where they will train you how to become a virtuous soul. That your generation will be proud of you. Your children will be proud of you. Your parents will be proud of you. That is who I want to make you. So if you're looking for magic, signs and wonders, together we can get it. But how can we get it? We need to provoke heaven for these things to happen. Some of you, I look at you. You have already walked into the wrong relationship. Some of you, your relationship is wrong relationship. But what can I do? You have been married. The Bible says what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Because God has put you, you, you are the one that joined yourself or not God. So now I try my best to see how I can mold your relationship. How I can subdue your husbands. How I can make their minds to stay in the, God, in the God's will for you. But you don't know. Some of you, you don't know. Some of you, you don't know. I am seeing somebody here. You are here on this broadcast. Your writing my breast is succulent. Your writing my face is succulent. I'm not going to block you. They have sent your name to me. Ushers have sent your name for me to block you. But I will not block you. You know why? I will not block you because I don't have the leading in my spirit to block you. I only block people when I am late to block. That's when I block you. So continue saying succulent thing. That is how you will rot in hellfire. May the Lord deliver you from the spirit of lust in the name of Jesus. Today is the day 27 of 30. The storm must be over. The storm must be over. Whether you like it or not. 
whether your generation likes it or not whether your foundation likes it or not whether your lineage likes it or not i prophesy to you in this meeting that the storm must be over i prophesy to you in this meeting share the brokers share the brokers oh stay watch party share the brokers let me share the brokers this is what i do not like i don't like when i am preaching then i need to stop and start sharing the brokers remember that we are still doing our prophetic it is still going to be a prophecy saturday so please go ahead and encourage yourself if you cannot encourage yourself encourage me encourage me so that i can prophesy it, it is not going to work like that engage the brokers and share the brokers it's not gonna work like that engage the brokers and share the brokers god bless you we are going to be very quick today we are going to be very quick today that is why i gave you guys four hours yesterday because i know that today i am going to be very very quick so may the lord bless you i bless you i bless you please make sure that you're sharing the brokers make sure that you're sharing make sure that you're hosting a watch party make sure that you are hosting a watch party and make sure that you're sharing make sure that you are sharing and you're hosting a watch party otherwise it's like you're not ready for the service yesterday so many people missed it and then they came back today asking me when was the service if you have not turned on your notifications please turn on your notifications because sometimes everybody cannot share to most of the groups and sometimes even when they share to most of the groups some people don't get to see it and we cannot help that we cannot really help if you cannot see so please do your best always as much as you can to make sure that you're sharing so that other people can get it make sure that you're sharing so that other people can get it make sure that you're sharing so that other people can get it engage the broadcast as much as you can as i am going to start i am not ready for me to be telling you keep sharing keep sharing but please keep sharing there is one funny thing that i am yet to understand about facebook so you see somebody going live and the person has 500 and something 1000 something one point something on the screen but when the person finishes live broadcast it comes to three point something 2.7 <laughs> so maybe maybe we need to go into the fake business as well oh my goodness lord help us in the name of jesus okay may the lord help us in the mighty name of jesus please share the brokers i'm also gonna share and then we are gonna start ushers please be timing me I am not going to be calling people on the on the camera. I'm just going to be prophesying for people here. When I see Shara on your name, I speak to your life. I see that some people are my top fans. I am going to go with the revelation that I had on the book. I am going to continue reading it like that. I am going to continue reading it like that. So please, however, I am going to go. When I read your revelation for you, I see your name. I read your revelation for you. I am going to repeat it three times. I am going to repeat your revelation three times. As I am reading your revelation, I will repeat it, repeat it, repeat it like three times so that it gets to you. And please, when you get it, when you get it, let me know that, you know what, I have gotten it and this is it. God bless you. Okay, I have seen it. Thank you so much. Um, Sister Mary, I know that you're supposed to have a meeting with the partners. That's fine. Do You guys don't worry. Just be on the broadcast with me. As soon as I am done on the broadcast, we connect the partners meeting, okay? Sister Mary, if you can hear me, don't worry about the um, partners partnership meeting. As soon as I am done on the broadcast, we will connect them. Please go ahead and share the brokers. Go ahead and share the brokers. You're not sharing is like a um, microwave. 
you're not sharing is like you are telling me that okay woman of god we are not ready for the prophecy today so just um just don't do today because you guys already know you provoke me you provoke my grace okay you need to provoke me and provoke my grace father in the mighty name of jesus we thank you we worship you because you're god Father, we give you the glory, we give you the honor because there is none like you. King of glory, Lord Almighty, Jehovah El Shaddai. Father, you have preserved us from the day one of this fasting and prayer till the day 27. Father, it has left with just three days. This program is going to be over. Every pending struggles, every trouble, disease, infirmity, hardship, storms of their lives, at the end of this meeting, Lord, may they all be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. May they all be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Storms from our parental side. Storms from our paternal side. Storms from our maternal side. Storm from the place of worship. Storm from the place of birth. Storm from our place of nationality. Storm from our places of work. Father, by the end of the storm is over. May every storm be over. May there be no storm that is left unturned. Every storm in our lives, the ones we have mentioned and the ones we have not mentioned, the ones we have touched and the ones we have forgotten to touch, Holy Spirit of mine, angels of mine, hosts of heaven, begin to touch, go into places, go into countries, go into lives, Go into homes and begin to break the storm. We decree today in one unity that the storm must be over. We decree and declare that every storm must be over. We stand in the east and we speak that the storm must be over. We turn to the north and we speak that the storm must be over. We go to the south and we speak that the storm must be over. We come to the west. And we speak that the storm must be over. Every hidden storms, every physical storm, every spiritual storm, be over in the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. I prophesy to every hand that is in this broadcast. I prophesy to every name on this broadcast. I prophesy to every faces on this broadcast. I prophesy to all the cities, the countries all over the world, wherever you're watching me from. As I am speaking right now, let every storm be over. In the name of Jesus, I break the storms in your life. I break the yokes of storms. I break the chains of storms. Storms that stood in the forest. Storms that hit on the ground. Storms that came through water. Storms that came through food. Storms that came through your garments. Every garment of storm be broken in the name of Jesus. Storms of sorrows. Storms of stagnation. Storms of depression. Storms of sickness. Storms of crying. Storms of vanishing. Storms of poverty. Storms of barrenness. Storms of limitation. Storms of delays. Storms of failure. Storms of sickness. Every manner of storm that has stood in your life. Every storm that has stood in your life. Storms that have limited you from the time you were born to this day. Storm that is not allowing you to go forward. Marital storms. Academic storms. Employment storms, storms of finances. Today, as I call your name, break forth in the name of Jesus. 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 Wherever they tied you to Rikaba Sekete Makushete Libra Kasaya. Wherever they tied you to. Wherever they tied your womb, wherever they tied your success, wherever they tied your blessings, wherever they tied your favor, and they decreed and they declared, they said it shall not stand. They said it will never come to pass. 
Today I prophesy over your lives. Everything that you were not able to do, you will begin to do them henceforth. Places that you were not able to go, you will begin to go henceforth. Wherever you were forgotten, you will begin to be remembered. Whoever spoke ill against you, they shall look for you to apologize. Whoever caused delay in your life, whoever brought the storm upon you, today there is an exchange in the realm of the spirit. Whatsoever was first changed in your future, whatsoever was exchanged in your lifestyle, whatsoever was exchanged spiritually, whatsoever was exchanged physically, today I come back to give it back to you. Whatever was given in exchange, whatever was given monthly, whatever was given financially, whatever was given physically, Today I use the word of Jesus. The word of Jesus that is greater than every other word. The word of Jesus that principalities and darkness bow to. The word of Jesus that no man can stand. The blood of Jesus that nobody can stand. Let the word, the fulfillment of the scripture, let it begin to fight against those that fight against you. Yes. That this work of the Lord is not true. Before the enemies of your life can go and punish. In as much as I open the scripture every day. I decree and I declare by the word of God. As I open the scripture. I declare that the storm is over. As I open the word of God. I declare that the storm is over. As I open the word of God. I prophesy that the storm is over. I don't know the name of the storm. Whatever storm you are carrying, whatever storm is pressing you, whatever storm is chasing you, like a nightmare, today I reverse it in the name of Jesus. Today I reverse it in the name of Jesus. Today I reverse it in the name of Jesus. Today I reverse it in the name of Jesus. You storm of darkness, you storm of hatred, you storm of limitation, you storm of darkness, you storm storm of no breakthrough you storms of failure you storm of sickness be broken in the name of jesus 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 be broken in the name of jesus, name of jesus. on this day 27 of 30 i release the 27 blessings to you and this day 27 of 30 i release your 27th blessing I knock the 27th heaven and I get into the storehouse in heaven and I release your 27th blessings. Ah, the 27 blessings that the world cannot hinder. Ah, I put my hand in the storehouse of heaven and I release your 27th blessings. Ah, as many as you are, let your blessings multiply. As many as you are under the sound of my voice, let your blessings increase. As many as you are under the sound of my voice, let me be, be liberation in the name of Jesus. As many that are under the sound of my voice, let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus. For as many that are under the sound of my voice, come out of that captivity. 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 Every catch of the enemy. Every catch of the enemy is over your life. I am seeing destinies that will catch. I am seeing wounds that will catch. I am seeing jobs that will catch. I am seeing marriages that will catch. Makushete libra kaya libaba sekete. Today, as I get into the cage, ah, Magala Brakisata. Today, as I get into the cage, ah, I scatter the cage of the enemies. I scatter the cage of the enemies. I destroy the cage of the enemies. And I pull you out from every evil cage. In the name of Jesus, I pull you out from every cage of the enemies. Cage from your foundation. Catch from your father's side. Catch from your villages. Catch from your place of worship. Wherever you were catch into, uh, today as I break the cage, uh, 
you are coming out victorious today as i scatter the cage you are not bound anymore today as i break the cage you cannot be stopped anymore today as i break the cage every sickness is gone today as i break the cage your marriages are released today as i break the cage you will be fruitful today as i break the cage your visas are released today as i break the cage the yoke of poverty is broken Hey, as I break the cage of the enemies, as I break the cage of the witches and wizards, as I break the cage of those that fight against you, may their cage remain broken in the name of Jesus. May their cages remain broken in the name of Jesus. May their cages remain broken in the name of Jesus. As I stand under the sun, I recover the cage. I return every of your dark glories. Wherever they have thrown darkness on your glory, whoever covered darkness upon your life, ah, uh, uh, today as I stand under the sun in the realm of the spirit, uh, I command your sunshine to start. I command your sunshine to blow. I command your sunshine to redeem. I command your sunshine to arise. I command your sunshine to come alive. Makushe te libra kaya liba baseke te ida maseke. As I stand under the sun, every power that was held under the sun, I set you free in the name of Jesus. I set you loose in the name of Jesus. I set you loose in the name of Jesus. I set you loose in the name of Jesus. I set you loose in the name of Jesus. I set you loose in the name of Jesus. From today henceforth, uh, disappointments will not be a part of your life. From today henceforth, uh, struggle will not be a part of your life. From today henceforth, uh, you will not cry anyhow. You will not seek anyhow. You will not borrow anyhow. The Lord is changing your story. 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 For those of you that day became your night, Makushete Libra Kasata Riba Bakaya. For those of you that your day became night and night became day for you. Ah, there is a release in the realm of the spirit right now. Begin to take your positions. Begin to take your positions. Begin to possess your positions. Begin to possess your positions. I prophesy for us many that are under the sound of my voice. That the storm is finally over. I prophesy to us many that is under the sound of my voice. That this storm is finally over. I prophesy to us many that can hear me right now. Ma, that this storm is finally over. I prophesy for us many that are under the sound of my voice. Le la baka sekete libra kaya lima masekeya. This storm is over in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to us many that can say remain to Jesus right now. That the storms of your lives are over. The storms of your husband's lives are over. The storms of your children's lives are over. To anyone that is connected to you. Makushete libra kaya liba basekete. Ida rabaseke ya ribaba ya ida maseke rama. As many that can hear my voice right now. I decree and I declare over you. Every storm that was standing, every stubborn storms of the past, every stubborn storms of today, every stubborn storms of the future, he has broken in the name of Jesus. He has broken in the name of Jesus. He has broken in the name of Jesus. He is broken in the name of Jesus. He has broken in the name of Jesus. He has broken in the name of Jesus. He has broken in the name of Jesus. Hey, I have got nothing else to give to you. Ah, but I have got good news for you. As my father is asking me to announce that the storm is over. I hereby decree and I declare my cushion to libra Every storm in your lives. Every storm in your lives is over in the name of Jesus. Every storm in your lives is over in the name of Jesus. Every storm in your life is over in the name of Jesus. You are victorious. Whatsoever the Lord said he would do, 
That is exactly what he would do. No one would change the promises of God. No one would change the plan of God. No one would change the arrangement of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. He ever open the service in the name of God the Father. I open to that service in the name of God the Son. I open to that service in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Legions of angels, the time has come for you to release files. Hey, files that have never been visited. Files that need to bring people from their place where they are to a place where you want them to be. Every hidden file that no prophet has been able to see. Let it be made open in this meeting. In the name of Jesus. Father, you say when you visit one, you visit all. The time of visitation is now. The hour of visitation is now. The day of visitation is now. The month of visitation is now. The year of visitation is now. Come and visit your children, Lord. I refuse to speak what I want you to speak. I refuse to be seen but you be seen, Lord. I go down for you to come up in me. Hey, whatever it is that is not of you, Lord, let it be shattered. Every lying tongue and every lying spirit be buried in the name of Jesus. Every familiar spirit, every monitoring spirit, every principalities of darkness, which is a wizard that walks with confusion, I bury you in the name of Jesus. I saturate the fire of the Holy Ghost. I saturate the blood of Jesus. I saturate the angels of mine. I saturate my sweet Holy Spirit. Come and take preeminence. Come and take dominion. Come and do as it pleases you. I release myself for you to use me. Use me to your glory, Lord. As you want to do it, Lord. I refuse, Lord, to do my will. But let your perfect will, your perfect will that comes with solution, your perfect will that nothing is hidden before you. Your perfect will like everyone is naked before you. Let your perfect will come. Let there be an open heaven. Let there be an open heaven. Let there be an open heaven. Let there be an outpouring of your rain. Let there be an outpouring of solution. In our midst, Lord Jesus, as we gather, Lord, uh, let our sins not be a demarcation to us. In any way that we have sinned against you, Lord Jesus, knowingly or unknowingly, we plead your blood over our iniquities. We plead our blood over your sins. We plead your blood over our own sins, Lord. We are looking at the finished work at the cross of Calvary. We look up to you, Lord, from where our helps come from. Our help comes from the Redeemer, the one that created us, the one that knows us. Father, do not look at how we are. Do not look at our reaction in your presence. Do not look at our action to the things of yours. Otherwise, you will pass us by. Let mercy speak. Let mercy speak. Let mercy speak. Let mercy speak for every individual on this broadcast. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your mercy prevail for every soul in this broadcast. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as we wait upon you, come and speak to your children. Come and bring solutions. Come and bring an outpouring testimonies that we will live to glorify your name forever. And the angels who will join them to sing Hosanna to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because we know that you have heard our prayer and you will do even more than we have requested because we have prayed through jesus christ our lord and so shall it be in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen god bless us god bless us god bless us god bless us what is happening what may the lord bless us in the mighty name of jesus the devil is a bastard the devil is a liar. My God, anytime I go in the spiritual realm and I come back, everything just changes. <laughs> anytime I get to the spiritual realm and I pray so hard and I come back, everything just changes. My look, my appearance, my lipstick, everything. And you'll be wondering, where did he go? 
It is well in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. I welcome you to God's presence today. As you have come to God's presence, I want you to stay expectant. Tell the Lord, Father Lord, visit me. Say, today is my day. This is the hour of visitation. This is the hour of visitation. Yeah, the Spirit call unto every nation. Come, let us worship Him. Bow down and worship Him. This is the hour of visitation. Please, you need to help me to help you. You need to comment as much as you can. It is from your comments that I am going to use to prophesy to you. So you need to comment as much as you can. If you can comment, comment for me to prophesy. Ememetim. 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 Let me see. Is there Shera on her name? Ememetim. Shera. Let me go and check. Ememetim, your file has open. Ememetim, your file has open. Let me go and check whether you shared the broadcast on your wall. I see Shara by your name, but I need to see whether you shared the broadcast on your wall. Imemetim. Okay. So you see, Imemetim's file opened. This one, I'm not shaking my head, though, but I am saying that a Mimetim's file open, but she did not share the broadcast. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? She did not share the broadcast. So therefore, she misses today. She does not have the broadcast on her page. She does not have the broadcast on her page. And she's not hosting a watch party, but she is here. You are thanking God for nothing because I am not giving you no prophecy. Go and host the watch party. And you will do that for one month. And if God puts in my heart for me to come back and read your file, I will read it. But for today and next time to come, I will not read. If you like, don't come here again. Goodbye. That is how I am going to do. Show you. Because when I say these things, you people don't understand. This is our page right now, right? This is our page right now. But the, the broadcast is not there. She doesn't want to host a watch party on her page. She doesn't want to share on her page so that her pastors and the people that she's going to, they will not see. You have wasted your time. If you like, you will host a watch party of Evan Chapel for one month before I will read that your file. I will waste my time at midnight, pray for you, and God will give me a revelation. And you come here and you don't share my video. Look at that. Look at her, a memetim. Look at her revelation. So I waste my time and pray for you. And you come here, you don't share video. The time to pay you as you do is there. Abi, I have showed you people. She has shared. Wherever she shared to, let her go there. Let them go and prophesy for her. If I don't see the video on your page, as I call your name, I am checking your page. I say share the video on your timeline. Host a watch party. You think that you can fool me, right? You cannot. You wherever you share to go there and worship there. That is your phone. That is your page that I have opened. This is your name. Ememetim. There is no video that you are hosting a watch party. No video shared. Everything that is on your page is the one that I have I have tagged you. You people see what I'm talking about, right? Me, wherever you go, you can fool them. But you see this woman of God. My eyes are open. I said, I see Shara on her name. Let me go and see whether she has shared on her timeline. She did not share. And she's telling me I shared. Where did you share to? You shared to groups, right? Go and you will host a watch party every time that I am live. For one month, I will come back and visit your file. I must teach you people to love God. It is not just coming to God's presence to come and receive. No, you must love God. You must love God. You must love God. I am seeing my daughters. I know my children. Even if you are using my profile picture. You need to show the love that you have for your mother. By proclaiming Jesus. All of you will come and say, Mommy, 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 mommy. I am not interested. You must save God. 
Let God open door for you. See Mahawa, my daughter. When she comes here, you will know. She will share. She will host watch party. And even in her church, where she is going to, she goes to Omega Fire. She they will have programs. She will promote. She will come here. She will promote. Anywhere she goes, she promotes. Don't do I I I I I I and seek. Who are you hiding and seeking for? Me, you are shame of me. You cannot host the watch party on your Facebook page to bring in people. You say you share. Where are you sharing? Where are you sharing? You need to love God. When I say do, you need to do it and you disobey me. You, that means, where is the love? You don't love people without respecting them. God bless you, my son. God bless you. Let us be fair in the presence of God. The people that are sharing, are they stupid? If everybody was to do like that, if everybody is to do like that, how will people come? Yesterday, one of my daughters sent me a video. Sochi, Sochi. She is a she is a dedicated Catholic. But the video popped up on her page and she saw it. And since then, she started following. And she has been sharing. If you don't share, another person does not share. How would the new people come? No, let us learn to be fair. If you don't share, and you come here and you receive, and the people that are sharing are not even located, is that good? Is that good? Even the Bible says that God is a jealous God. No, I am not going to do that. If I do that, then I am not being fair. There are people that have been here from day one, praying for God to locate them, praying for their file to open, and they have been sharing, but you come. You don't share on your page. You share to whatever group you share to, knowing that I will not see. I don't care where you share, but I need that broadcast on your page. Share it to your stories. When your friends click your stories, they will join us. We need to win souls. Don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. We need to win souls. Soul winning is our heartbeat for God. So don't come here and tell me, pray, pray, pray. And then you did not do evangelism. How will the people in your country come to God? How will people be healed? How will people be cured? I am a born Catholic. I am a born Catholic. That is where I got the name Bernard from. I am a born Catholic. Born Catholic. Like I, they gave birth to me in Catholic church. That is where my middle name is Bernard. But today God, God transformed me. I want to teach you because there are some churches that they don't teach you about evangelism. But if I'm telling you that it is true evangelism that God will give you something. Believe me. Some of you, you don't have sharers on your name because you don't share. Some of you, you have top fan, but you have never been visited. You have never been visited by the Lord. Does it mean that we are just stupid? No. If everybody is to behave like that, who will share? If everybody don't have group. If everybody don't have group. Everybody cannot share. How do you think people will be coming on the broadcast? Look at the guy that came. The uncle was mad. He joined the live broadcast. Carry water, uncle washes it. Madness left the uncle. If you did not share, how will such a person come and join? Please don't bring this kind of spirit into God's presence. Don't bring this kind of spirit into God's presence. I just like her because she's my daughter. And she's using my profile picture. And she takes care of me every month. But I need to tell her the truth. She's one of the she's one of the Evan Chapel sowers. Richard Cardo, Interneto money i am not moved by money this is to tell you that if whether you are buying me clothes me i will correct you if you like give me my rent me i will correct you that's a meme that you are seeing that i am correcting now she is one of my ministry sowers this is to tell you that i am not moved by money i am not moved by what you give me i will correct you me this woman of god if you like so pay tight every day I will correct you. She has been following this broadcast for how many years? If you go to her page, you will see. But I want her to share on her, on her timeline. Let her do more. Okay, so you need to keep commenting for me to see you. Michael Anita. Michael Anita. Michael Anita. Michael Anita, 
I don't know why I am seeing somebody lying before you. I don't know why I am seeing somebody lying before you. You are going to pray and ask the Lord to take away the spirit of death. Michael, Anita, you are going to tell God to take away the spirit of death. Because I am seeing you in the realm of the spirit. I am seeing somebody lying, lying down by where you are. I see somebody lying by where you are. You're going to tell God to take away the spirit of death. There is death that is hanging around. There is death that is hanging around. There is death that is hanging around. Today I cover the grave of this dead. In the name of Jesus. Today I cover the grave over death. Every death, far or near, it shall not come near you. I break the storm of death for you, Michael, Anita, and the people around you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What is she saying? <laughs> hey, so some of you, some of you, some of you who would think that when you give me something, I will not talk. You, if you like, give me breakfast every day. Don't do the right thing. I will call your name. I will disgrace you. You people don't know me. I am even conscious, so my love for God is too strong. You can do anything you want to do with me, but don't play with God. Don't play with God. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. This is my daughter, Mahawa. She's hosting watch party. This is what I want to see. Host watch party. Let your friends come and join you. Stop going to your friends to go and carry people to club. Stop taking people to go and wait for you in a man's house. Bring people to the presence of God. This is my daughter in whom I am, I am, I am pleased with. Mahawa. When she's not on the broadcast, I know that she's not there. I know people that work for God. Even if you block her, you are wasting your time. She will follow the instruction that I gave. She will type names of people. Type names of people. Type names of people. Let me prophesy for my daughter. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. She's, my, she's my girl. She knows. Leave her. Let me close her. Uh, 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 let me close that one. I am coming back. Please make sure that you are commenting. Make sure that you're commenting so that I can prophesy. So I am looking for Mahawa's revelation now. I'm looking for Mahawa's revelation now. I know that I had a revelation about Mahawa. Thomas Ina. Let me wait my, let me keep my daughter soon. Let me go to this Thomas Ina. Because all of them, eh, today, justice. Hey, see my officer. See my officer. He's hosting a watch party. Policeman. Policeman is not afraid that they might remove him from his job. If my policeman is hosting watch party, you people are there. Bloody civilians. <laughs> an officer. An officer of the law is hosting a watch party. And you bloody civilians. <laughs> you bloody civilians. You don't want to host a watch party for the Lord. Eh? Who are you? Look at my officer. He's hosting a watch party. Officer of the law. He's not saying that they will remove him from the police force. And you bloody civilians. You cannot host a watch party. You are playing with fire. Where's my officer? Officer, get ready. Let me prophesy for you now. I prayed for you, officer. God, open your file. Let them be playing. Look at your name. Thomas Sina. I am not joking here. When I say I am praying for you, I mean that I'm praying for you. Officer, take, get ready. Three times I will say your prophecy. You write it down. Don't mind them. You will get promotion from your job. They will promote you. So that when I am coming in Nigeria, you will be sending escorts. They will come and drive me. Anybody that does nonsense, you put gun on your head. You scatter them physically. I scatter them spiritually. You scatter them physically. In this heaven chapel. You people think that this one, eh? This thing that you people are doing. I have an officer that can arrest you. Don't joke with me. <laughs> you people don't know, eh? Ah. There is an officer that can arrest you. So, officer Thomas Ina, you need to be straightforward. When I was praying for you, the Lord says, I should tell you that you need to be straightforward. And I began to ask the Lord a question. I said, how, does, how can he be straightforward? And I began to realize that as an officer, there are so many corner-corner things that you are doing in order to be able to scale. 
There are so many things that you would do in order to be able to scale. There are so many things that you are doing. And the Holy Spirit says to me, he says, it needs to be straightforward. He needs to be straightforward. It needs to be straightforward. There is straightforwardness in his life that needs to be corrected. He needs to be straightforward. He needs to be in peace and joy with others. You need to be in peace and joy with others. This is your revelation. The Lord says that you need to be straightforward. And that you need to be in peace and in love with others. And that it will give you openings. This is where I am telling you that there is going to be a promotion for you. Officer, listen to me. Oh. Me, my God breaks protocol. I don't care what rank that you are. But I saw an opening in the realm of the spirit. That God is going to make an opening for you. But officer, there are so many people that you need to be at peace and at joy with. You need to be straightforward. I know that the nature of your job cannot allow you to be straightforward. What you need, you need to be straightforward in order for things to happen for you. God is going to bring an opening. God is going to bring an opening. You, sometimes you are praying so hard. Sometimes at night you are calling God. Initially you were not prayerful. Initially you were not able to. Initially, you were not able to be connecting to God. But since you ran into Evan Chapel, everything changed. Your prayer life changed. Your dream life changed. Things begin to unfold for you. There is an opening door that is coming for you. There is an opening door that is coming for you. There is an opening door that is coming for you. God says you need to be straightforward. You need to stay in peace and in love with other people. And he is going to bring an open door. I don't want you to pray much prayer. From today, I am coming to direct your prayer life. And if you pray this prayer, Officer, if you pray this prayer that the Lord has given me for you to pray, there is a divine direction for you to follow. If you follow the divine direction of the Lord, you are going to see the manifestation power of God. God says, pray at all times. God says, pray at all times. Pray at all times with Psalm 88. Psalm number 88. Three times every week. I am seeing favor coming for you. In the realm of the spirit, I saw opening doors. I saw promotion. It was like I was walking with you in the spirit. And I saw you when you came out. You came out with a uniform. And I began to ask you. And you came to me. You knew me, but I didn't know you. And you said to me, woman of God, don't enter that car. Enter this one. And I says, he says, it is true. And I says, why do you want me to enter that car? You say, because I have been ordered to pick you and throw out your stay. I am ordered to take care of you. I said, ah, why do you want to take? You say, you don't know me, but I know you. Don't worry. Just take my ID card. Keep it with you till the day you are going back. You bring my ID card. I am giving you the ID card so that you will be relaxed and you will trust me. And then I got into the car. And when I got into the car, I got to a place. And they began to show me uh, 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 another card. And when they stopped the vehicle, they said, they, the guy wind down the glass. And he says, my boss is behind. My boss is behind. And they cleared us. And we were going like that. We were going like that. There was no stop again. And the Lord says to me, you see what I am doing right now? There is an opening door for him. Let him be straightforward. Let him be straightforward. Let him be straightforward. From today henceforth, don't pray too much prayer. You are going to return with a testimony. And you will say, truly, there is a God that lived in heaven chapel. Truly, there is a God that see it well. Truly, there is a God. Uh, so many times when it comes to when your breakthrough is about to manifest, uh, something comes in and scatters it. Something comes in and they put you behind. Something comes in and puts something. But today, the Lord saw a heart of humiliation. The Lord saw a humble spirit. Uh, even when you traveled, uh, there was an attack that was kept for you in your village. Uh, but the Lord turned it into an ordinary stomach headache. And you had stomach ache for a little while. And after that, you went down. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't pray too much prayer. Three times in a week. Psalm 88, three times in a week. 
As you want to read it, read it. Every time, just pray. Pray at all times with Psalm 88. God of promotion, God of upliftment, God of opening doors. Come and open my door. Come and promote me. Come and uplift me. Maka la barari baba seke ya. Oh, I am calling your name so that the day of your testimony people will remember. I am calling your name so that the day of your testimony people will remember. Share the broadcast. Host the watch party. Let the Lord locate you. Tell the Lord, Father, Lord, locate me. Father, open my file. Today is my day. Begin to tell the Lord. I am going to repeat your prophecy for the last time. Mr. Thomas Ina, in person of my officer, the Lord says you should be straightforward. The Lord said be at peace and joy with others. God says he will give you opening doors. He says pray at all times with Psalm 88, three times weekly. And you are going to see the manifestation power of Jesus. You are going to see the manifestation power of Jesus. It is done. I decree and I declare over your life. Every storm is over. Storm of your workplace. Storm of your promotion. Storm of your upliftment. Storm of your health. Storm in every areas of your life. I release marital rights for you in the name of Jesus. I release marital rights for you in the name of Jesus. I release marital rights for you. In the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. Officer's case closed. Promotion is coming. I wait for your testimony. Next person. Next person. Next person. Next person. Next person. Oh, why is my father calling me right now? Oh, when I'm flowing in the prophetic. This man maybe wants prophecy. Hello, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Daddy, I'm on live. Join the live program. Join the live. No prophecy on the phone. Everybody, join the live. My father, my uncle, my auntie, my family, join the live. He's trying to join the live broadcast, but it's not connecting. Somebody share it with my father. Share it with my father. He's not able to connect. Share it with him. Share it on his timeline, please. He's not able to connect to the live program. Please share it with him. God bless you. Okay. I was about to speak to my daughter, Mahawa, before that file of officer opened. I was trying to speak to my daughter Mahawa before the file of officer opened. I was trying to speak for Mahawa before the file of officer opened. Okay, so I am going to go like this. Please make sure that you are sharing the broadcast so that I can see your name. Tell the Lord to locate you. It's Miriam Ye. I saw Miriam one time. I saw Miriam one time. Mary. Mary. Let me go and check. Because people are filled with wonders. Let me go and check for Sister Mary. Because yeah, this thing that you're seeing. Even your... The people... <laughs> hey! Sister Mary. I'm checking. Hey! See Sister Mary. She's hosting. Whether you are my father, today I am following your timelines. Daddy, as you enter, host the watch party. If you don't host the watch party, I am not prophesying, even if you're my father. Host the watch party as you connect to the broadcast. My siblings, host watch party on your timeline. Today, I am working on your timelines. No partiality. Mary, listen to me. Mary, listen to me. There is a curse. There is a curse in your life. A curse that was made 13 years ago. <laughs> Hey, somebody say, Mommy, today is today. Today is today. Today is today. If I go and check your timeline, there is no host, uh, watch party. I wait till the day you host watch party. I come back. Mary Obom, listen to me. I had a revelation about you. And I don't know what your spirit is doing with the day Tuesday. I don't know what your spirit is doing with the day Tuesday. 
So in the realm of the spirit, I saw a woman who cursed you 13 years back. A woman laid a curse on you. I am talking to you, Mary Obom. Listen to me very well. A woman laid a curse on you 13 years back. And when she was laying this curse on you, she did it on a Tuesday. She laid a curse on you on a Tuesday. And when she put this curse upon you, and she said that whoever is going to break this curse for you, Whoever is going to break the curse will die. She put an evil shoe. She put an evil shoes on your leg. And then she covered you with the spirit of delay. And then blocked your womb. I was asking the Lord something. You guys remember the day I said. I said even if they kept you in the forest. We will go to the forest and we will bring you out. This woman said that she gave you an evil shoe to wear. That is why no matter where you go to, you cannot have favor. As a result of the spirit of delay in your life, it has also affected your husband. Let me say it the way it is. Uh, you are my daughter, but I cannot hide anything from you. Uh. There, is, there is an ill luck in your life. That has affected your husband's life right now. Your husband was doing much better. But right now he is not doing much better. Because of the spirit that is in your life. This spirit is now haunting your husband. Anywhere this man goes. There is a closed door. There is a delayed spirit. Let me prophesy to you. There are so many places that you go to. They refuse to read your file. They refuse to help you because they know that whoever delivers you is going to die. Anybody that has a spiritual eyes does not want to have anything to do with you because they are afraid that the cause that the woman put is going to follow them. You have been to so many places before you located me. They refuse to give you prophecies. They refuse to work for you because they saw this in the realm of the spirit. That there is a curse that is upon your life. And they say, whoever break this curse for you, he's going to die. I am going to break this curse. And I am going to sit on my prophetic chair. And I am going to tell the devil that Jesus is Lord. I am going to break this curse. Anyone that has a spiritual eyes, I want you to connect with me in this meeting. And key into this file, Mary Obom. And then you would see. A woman stood on a Tuesday and she laid a curse on you. She said you will never prosper in your life. She brought the spirit of delay upon you. Have you not seen delay in your life? Have you not seen how long that you have stayed in denial? Marco said, And the spirit now is not even haunting you alone. Now the spirit is also haunting your husband. The spirit is also haunting your husband. Right now, all doors are closed to this man. Uh. Whatever this man wants to do, we cannot do it. Uh. Because you are wearing an evil shoe in your leg. There is an evil shoe in your leg. Wherever you go, you cannot see anything good. Whenever you walk into a place, you scatter instead of building. Whenever you walk into a place, there is something evil that gets in. Sometimes you don't even know these things. Sometimes they just accuse you and call you what you are not. Even in the marriage where you are, sometimes your husband picks quarrel. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to prophesy. Sometimes your husband picks quarrel with you. You don't even know what you did. You don't know where the problem came from. But you just see this problem coming. And you try to show yourself. You say, let me just endure. Because I don't have nowhere to go. Let me just endure. Because I don't know what is going on. Let me just endure. The Lord began to tell me. I told you to go and break the storm. Because I saw storm in the life of my children. I told you to go and break the storm. Because I saw storm standing in people's life. I am going to break. I am going to break the curse. I am going to break the curse. Let me see how I will die. And if I die, let me go. 
But I will break this curse. I will break this curse. Let the will of God be done. She covered you with the spirit of delay. She covered your womb. She covered you with the spirit of delay. She covered your womb. And said there shall be no fruitfulness. There shall be no fruitfulness. She beat her heart. She beat her heart. And she said, Whoever will try it to deliver her, may death be their portion. Whoever will try it to deliver her from where I have put her, let them die. Now I am coming to tell you openly, the reason why you go to places, they refuse to speak for you. The reason why you go to places, so many times you go to places, they give you fake prophecies. So many times you go to places, they cannot read your file. So many times you go to places, they refuse to pray for you. They keep doing you like this because they have seen, because they have seen, because they have seen that if they pray and try to deliver you, they will die. And because they don't have the power, because they are not one that call themselves, it's not God that sends them. They refuse. And when you stay and stay and stay, your spirit tells you it's not going to happen. Then you go. The evil shoe. You're going to go and look for a shoe. You are going to go and look for a condemned shoe. Shoe that is condemned. If you don't have a condemned shoe, go to a second, a second, a second shop, a second, a second hand store. Buy a shoe. If you see a shoe that has just one leg, shoe that is destroyed. Buy that shoe. Evil shoe. I will remove that evil shoe from your leg. You will buy that shoe. And you will buy a brand new shoe. A shoe that you like. A shoe that is shining. Even if it is your last money. Use it and buy the shoe. You will not regret. Even if it's the last one. Even if you need to borrow. Tell somebody. Have mercy and let my story change. Buy a shoe that you love. A color that you love. When you bring it. Hey, When you bring the shoe. Keep the shoe. Keep the shoe every day. Admire this shoe. Take it and admire it. Say, wow. This shoe is so nice. I like the ear. Wow, I like the body of this shoe. I like everything about this shoe. I like the way this shoe is. Admire the shoe. Speaking to the shoe. What you want to see in your life. Tell this shoe. When something new comes. It brings something new. I bought you from the store. And I brought you into my house. As a new shoe. I want you to bring something new. I am using you to represent something new. I am using you to represent something new. You will get the worst of shoes. Shoes that are spilled. Shoes that you would not like to wear outside. You will keep that one as the evil shoe. You will buy a brand new shoe. A beautiful shoe that has never been worn before. Come back and keep it in your house. Admire it every day. Look at it, admire it. Look at it, admire it. Look at it, admire it. Tell the shoe as I'm bringing you into this house. I bought you from the store. Nobody wore you with a carton. I am bringing something new into my house. Any man or woman that was created by God and has ever worn a shoe, but she tied my womb. She brought the spirit of delay upon me. She made me cry and be in this place where I am. She has made me to be called names that I know nothing about. She has made my life miserable in the land of the living. Unless they have never worn a shoe. From the time they were born to this very day. May they escape the wrath of God. But if not. The next time their leg will get into a shoe. May the Lord take them away. For your blessings and breakthrough to come. Something that was done in 13 years. This was done 13 years back. Please share the brokers. Share the brokers.
and not stay watch party. This was done 13 years back. And on a Tuesday, on a Tuesday, because she cost you on a Tuesday, on a Tuesday, I will remove the curse and I will bless you. And let me see how I will not wake up and come to my communion service on Wednesday. God punish the devil. Whatsoever was hidden in your life, whatsoever the enemies have scattered, whatsoever they have done and they thought that it was hidden, the God of this ministry is not sleeping. You will begin to see that your life is going to move forward. You will begin to see that your husband is going to get something tangible. You will begin to see that you will go to places and doors will open. You will begin to reap and you will wonder how come the blessings are coming like this. Whatsoever was tied in 13 years, the Lord has sent me to lose. The Lord has sent me to lose. She beat her hand on the chest and she said, whoever would try. So many places you have gone to, they have seen it. That is why they refuse to work for you. That is why they refuse to pray for you. Today I beat my heart and I call on the God of heavens. I call on the legions of angels. I call on my sweet Holy Spirit. As this file has opened, may the Lord preserve you till Tuesday. As this file has opened, may the Lord preserve you till Tuesday. I don't want to open this file because the attack will come. I don't want to open this file because they will come to fight. But may the Lord preserve you till Tuesday for me to break this covenant. I have to tell you ahead of time because you need to buy the shoes. I have to tell you ahead of time because you need to get ready. Put on your prayer shoe. Any revelation that you have before you lie down to sleep. Say, I am not Mary Obom. I am the first lady of the Most High God. I connect to the grace of my mother. Any manipulation or anyone that comes to touch me, may the fire of the Lord strike them. Lie down and sleep. I call on the God of my covenant. I call on the God of my calling. May heaven open for your sake. May heaven open for your sake. That is why when you go to a place, they don't want to pray for you. That is why when you go to a place, they dodge you. Because nobody wants to carry the cross on their head. But if God calls you, the Lord stands by you. I did not call myself. In as much as the Lord opened this file. But I told the Lord something. I said, you sent me to come and set the captives free. If it is your will that I set this one free and I go, let your will be done. But if it is not your will, let it not be done. But I will never run away from setting the captives free. Never. I will never run away from reading a file because I see the trouble that is in that file. Never. I will stand and I will do the work of my father. And he that called me will stand and back me up. He that called me will anoint me for the work ahead. Maku sheteli brakasa. Get everything ready. Make sure that on Monday, you message me and you say, Mommy, you are supposed to work for me on Tuesday. And I will break that on Tuesday. Tuesday is the 10th year of June. Tuesday is the 10th year of June. And when I break the course, you are starting a new life afresh. From the 1st of July, you are going to begin to see the glory of God. You are going to begin to see a new happening. The rest of your life for the past 13 years, everything you lost in the past 13 years, it is going to begin to come into glory. The years you wasted will be restored. Your womb shall be open. The life shall be canceled. Every manifestation that God kept for you, we begin to unfold this song. Lika ba se gete makushe te libra kaya. Lepa bari bobo sokoto. Ida maseke. Rama. Ah. 
Rika Basekeya. Everything that was denied will begin to fall in place. The devil is a bastard. I decree and I declare. Every storm over your life and the life of your husband is broken. Every storm over your life and the life of your husband is broken. I decree and I declare in this meeting. As I prophesy to you, every storm in your life and that of your husband is broken. In the name of Jesus. That evil storm is broken. In the name of Jesus. The storm is broken. 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 Come on, if you're not sharing this broadcast, you don't really understand when God is doing something. If you're not sharing this broadcast, you don't really understand what God has done. I wish that there was one single person who can see what the Lord has done right now in the realm of the spirit. I wish that there was one person that is with a spiritual heart that can see what the Lord has done. Even as, even as I'm prophesying to you right now, Mary, you are going to feel something in your body. You're going to feel something in your body. You're going to feel that see the load, a bond, a burden left you. Why? Because the evil work of the enemy is exposed. The evil work of the enemy is exposed. Their charm, their causes, the affliction is powerless. I nullify, neutralize it in the name of Jesus. Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. Mommy water power, powerless power. Satan power, powerless power. Which is power, powerless power. Evil powers, powerless power. But Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. I said Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. Demon powers, powerless power. Evil power, powerless power. Mommy water powers, powerless power. Which is powers, powerless power. Evil powers, powerless powers. Which is powers, powerless power. But Jesus power is super power. Jesus power is super power. I said Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. Only Jesus power, mightier power. Jesus power, thunder power. But Jesus power, super power, super power. Super power. Every power beneath the head, under the sea, in the oceans, in the forests, in the rivers, they are all powerless. It is only the power of Jesus that is the superpower. It is only the power of Jesus that is the superpower. Who is speaking over your life? What coverage do you have on top of your head? It is what matters. I said, I am going to break the curse. I am going to liberate her. If I do what? They said, whoever liberates her will die. Let me see how the God of my covenant will leave me to die for the witches, to die for the wizards, to die for demons. No, 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 no. Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. 
Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. 13 years it took the devil to do this. 13 years it took the devil to do this. But when I sought the face of God for her, I said, in the life of my children, the storm must be over. And I begin to ask the Lord, why is this one not happening? Why is that one not happening? Why is this one not happening? Why is that one not happening? Why is this one not happening? And the Lord says to me, relax. Relax. And I'm going to tell you what you will do. Did you hear me say pray? Did you hear me say fast? Did you hear me say do midnight? Did you hear me say do read? Did you hear me say praise? Did you hear me say do this? No. But I am just going to speak. Because she speak. I am going to speak. Because she spoke. I am going to bless because she cast. I am going to bless. I am going to remove whatever she put. I am going to take it away and replace it. Can you see that the witches and the wizards, they are so stupid. You gave an old shoe to somebody to wear on the leg. So that wherever the person goes, evil will be following the person. All shoe, a new shoe, which one is better? The devil is an idiot. The devil is stupid. He used an old shoe to bring evil in our life. And I am using a brand new shoe to bring brand new blessing in our life. Which one is more powerful? <laughs> which is more powerful? Ah, Ayanga Mokoi. Ayanga Mokoi. Ayanga Mokoi. The things of the spirit is useless to those who don't know God. But the spiritual controls the physical. You gave an evil shoe, all shoe, scattered shoe. And this is how our life has been. If you, powerless woman being, can decree a thing and it coming to pass, how about me, powerful woman of God? Why can I not decree and it comes to pass too? The devil is a bastard. The devil is an idiot. Thirteen years. She did it and she covered it. She said, Mama, when me. As long as I live this life, she can never. Anybody that tries, dies with her. So if a powerless woman being, powerless witches and wizards can speak and it happens, how about me, a blessed woman of God? Why can I not speak and it happens? Why can I not speak and it happens? It cannot happen unless you are walking in disobedience. But when you walk in obedience, when you listen to the instruction I give you and you follow it, you will rejoice. You will rejoice. You will sing Hosanna. Hosanna to the Lord in heaven. Hosanna to the Lord. Hosanna to my God in heaven. Hosanna to the Lord. Hosanna to the Lord in heaven. Hosanna to the Lord. Hosanna to the Lord in heaven. Hosanna to the Lord. Makushetele brakasata makibobo sokoya. The evil spell is broken. It is cancelled. It is terminated. It shall not stand. Neither will it come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. It shall not stand. Neither will it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. The only reason I am not finishing up today is because it was done on a Tuesday. So I want to stand on a Tuesday and scatter what was done on a Tuesday. Wherever she did this thing is in a local place. I will stand internationally 
And I will break the evil locality charm and evil that was done. And launch her internationally. Which one is more powerful? Satan, shame unto you. All power belongs to Jesus. Satan, shame unto you. All power belongs to Jesus. Satan, shame unto you. All power belongs to Jesus. Satan, shame unto you. All power belongs to Jesus. Satan, shame unto you. All power belongs to Jesus. Satan, shame unto you. All power belongs to Jesus. Satan, shame unto you, all power belongs to Jesus. Satan, shame unto you, all power belongs to Jesus. It takes faithfulness. It takes faithfulness. It takes faithfulness and dedication to receive from the Lord. You need to find a stand. So that when your situation gets tough, your man of God goes down and asks the face of God for you. You need to connect to where when the powers and principalities of your life come fighting. Then they take your name to God and say, this one, what is the problem? You need to connect to such a person. Don't follow the crowd where they don't know you, where they don't see you, they don't care a damn about you. When they see your case, they say, look at this one. So this one thinks I will come and die because of her. How much is she bringing to my ministry for me to come and die because of her? Some of them, they know this thing because they are evil. They cannot break evil. Evil cannot break evil. It takes light to bring you out of darkness. Darkness cannot comprehend darkness. Light comprehends darkness. What if I am a cultist and my cultist has done something? Why do I need to break what my cultist did? I cannot break it because that is a law that I cannot deform. But when power, when darkness sees power, when darkness sees light, it bows. That is why so many times people cannot do things for you people. Because they are in the same cabo. They are in the same cabo. They only set the people that they can set. But they leave you. Because a man of God, a prophet, cannot destroy a work of a prophet. It is the principle. Unless you did not go for training. A prophet cannot destroy the work of another prophet. A doctor cannot destroy the work of another prophet. A doctor, I am a medical practitioner. A lady came to me, she did abortion and they took her womb out. And we were doing oppression on her with a Russian doctor. We saw that when she went to do the abortion, they took out her womb. But we couldn't tell her because we cannot expose another doctor. These are the principle. You need to know the principle. So when somebody sets you free, when somebody sets you free, it has to be that the person is, is, is in that level of foundation where the person can do it. I cannot come and tell you that hey, this doctor has destroyed your womb. No, it's against the ethic of my profession. It's against the ethic of the prophetic. A prophet will not tell you that what the other prophet did is wrong. A prophet will not tell you that that prophet is fake. A prophet will not tell you that what that prophet did is a lie. Even if they are sitting there and they are prophesying, they will not say nothing. This is the ethic. You need to know the ethics. You need to know the ethics. You need to know the ethics. So when they see it, they already know that this came from their kingdom. They already know that this came from their own pot. You already know that you are the reason why these things are being cursed. So they don't do it. They keep quiet. And they allow you to work with it. Because they cannot break the law. There is a law. There is an ethic. You can't break the ethics. You need to follow the ethics. Otherwise, people look at you and they laugh. They say, oh, look at this one. This one does not know how the prophetic works. They will laugh. They say, look at this one. This one does not know the ethics of our profession. Sometimes I need to expose these things for you people to know. Sometimes I need to tell you these things so that you can understand life. That is why some of you will say, I have been going to places, but my file has never opened. I have been going to places, but you have never opened my file. How 
can they open your veil when your mother is a witch and they are a witch? How can they open your veil when they are related in the kingdom of witches? They are relatives in the kingdom of witches. Don't you know that a witch and another witch, they are cousins? Don't you know that a witch and another witch, they are relatives? Don't you know that if I am a prophet, I see a prophet I know? When I see a prophet, I know. If you're a prophet, when you see a prophet, you will know. I am a medical doctor. When I see a medical doctor, I know. He's always with his stethoscope. Oh, there is something that he would, there is a language you will know. Oh, this is a medical doctor. So your auntie that is a witch, and my auntie that is a witch, they are relatives. Eh? A witch child, sees a witch child, they know there is a signal. A Christian sees a Christian, he knows there is a signal. You must know. You must know. A prayer warrior sees a prayer warrior, you must know. You must know. You must know. Your uncle that is a cultist and another uncle that is a cultist, they are relatives, so partners in what? In crime. So we have direct relatives. We have partial relatives. We are related now. You and me, we are related because of God. You and me are related because of God. So if we are in cultism, we are also related because of the father, fatherhood. Because of fatherhood, we are also related. So you need to know these things. Iron sharpens iron. Darkness and darkness stay like that. It is light. You need light to comprehend darkness. You need light to comprehend that darkness. Otherwise, it cannot be. Some of you, you are in a place and you see in your revelation. Sometimes the Lord opens up to where you are. Places that you have been going. Places that you have been. The Lord opens up to you. You wake up, you see yourself. Sometimes you see your pastor removing something from his pocket. Sometimes you see your pastor with a knife in his hand. And you wake up and you begin to ask yourself, what is he doing with a knife in my dream? God is telling you something. Don't ignore the dream. Walk towards the dream. Pursue the dream. Follow the dream. Trust the dream. Pray about the dream. God is telling you something. God is telling you something. I am fearless. I, I came to expose the work of darkness. I came to expose the kingdom of darkness. That is my own calling. I came to expose the kingdom of darkness. But the problem I have with you people is you are not sharing the brokers. The problem I have with you is you not sharing the brokers. That is why somebody will still walk into problems. Somebody will still walk into temptation. Why? Because they didn't hear the word. They need to hear the word to be liberated. They need to hear the word to be free. Sometimes you need to know the truth. The Bible says you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. When you know the truth, you don't need prophecy. When you know the truth, you don't need prophets. When you know the truth, you don't need prayer. The truth sets you free on its own. The day you know the truth, that is the day you are free. All of these years that you have been in stagnation and limitation, it is because you do not know the truth. Any day you know the truth, any day you know the truth, if you know how to make stew, will you go and be buying stew from the roadside? If you know how to make stew, will you be going to restaurants every day? The answer is no. You cannot know how to make stew. And every day you go and buy stew. So they don't want to tell you these things. Because they don't want to lose money in the church. They don't want to tell you the truth. Because when you know how to pray for yourself, you will not go to church again. They don't want to tell you the truth. Because they want you to stay under them forever. They don't want to tell you. So we text the one that God has called from the spirit and the truth to come and liberate you from the slavery of the enemy. The Lord told me to come and liberate mankind. That's what he said to me. And that's what exactly I am doing. And I will not stop at doing it until the return of my father. They will not 
do it because they know if i reveal these things to them i tell you how to pray look at the testimony of yesterday yesterday i was under the prophetic and i said that the lord is telling me that people are going to fall under the anointing people fell under the anointing people were falling under the anointing yesterday i said some people you will begin to speak in tongues some people you will begin to fall and you'll be shaking you saw the testimony of adama somebody was telling her call mommy because i teach you how to lay hand and pray i teach you how to use your water i teach you i teach you how to use these things Will I, should I be coming on the broadcast and be begging you to share? No! The moment you see me coming, you're, 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 you will just be running and be hosting watch party and saying, ah, let me connect, let me connect. Every time that I come here, there is something that I learn. Because it's not, it's not, a, 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 it's not a physical ministry. It's a spiritual ministry that God reveals. And he knows that I am not going to hide it. He knows that once he reveals, I'm going to go and say the way it is. So he trusts me to reveal the secret things of his kingdom. He knows I am going to come and say it. So today, because of that file, because of that file, I had to go deeper. I have to go deeper. I have to go deeper. I can get you into a realm that you will begin to see a witch and you will know that this is a witch. I can get you into a realm that when you get to a place, you will know that there is something about this place. I can get you into a realm that when you are there, you will know that there is something about this place that I am sitting down. And people will begin to ask you, who are you? How do you do it? You ask them. Tell them I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. He calls me his own. Can you not make friends with Jesus? Can you not make friends with Jesus for your spiritual eyes to open? Can you not join the kingdom advancement and promote God? Let the devil leave you. Let me give you a secret to the things of God. Let me just open up a little bit about this, the, 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 the kingdom of darkness. Let me open up a little bit about the kingdom of darkness. Okay, now, if you are living in a compound, and in that compound where you are living, there is a small boy or a small girl that insults you all the time. Every time you tell this child, come here, the child says, Auntie, I'm not coming. Every time you say to the child, come here, go and buy me biscuits, the child will say, what is wrong with your leg? Will you, will you be calling such a child? You will not call such a child. You will leave the child because you know that this child is insolent. You know that that child is insolent. You will not call that child. That is how the kingdom of darkness is. When you insult the witches, when you do not spare them, when you expose them, they run away from you. They leave you. They say, hey, this one, he will go and say everything. He will go and say everything. He will go and say everything. Leave this one. Don't touch this one. This one will go and expose us. You went to afflict that one in the dream. He will come and mention your name. Because that child will go to the mother and tell the mother, Mommy, Auntie, Auntie Mary called me and asked me to go and buy her something in the store. And the mother will say, Next time she told you, don't go. Next time she called you and said, Go and buy something, don't go. But if you're the type that when Sister Mary called you and said, take money, go and buy, you go and buy. She comes, she remove for you, you give, you keep quiet. Next time, Sister Mary will continue to call you and send you. Why? Because you will go. And when you come back, she will bribe you. But when you say, no, I am not going, don't call me. My mother said I should not come. You will never call such a child again. The same thing with the witches and wizards. When you expose them, they leave you. They say, wow, this girl is very insolent. She will go there and expose our kingdom. She will go there and expose our kingdom. Leave her. Leave her. And they will leave you. They will leave your matter. There are some things. There are some things that you need to know. 
There are some teachings that you need to know. When I teach you these things and you know these things, you don't need prophecy. When I teach you these things and you know these things, you wouldn't need prophecy. You will be saying, Mommy, what can I do for my life to move forward? Mommy, give me divine direction. Mommy, give me a prayer point that I can pray to liberate my life. How do I get to know all of these things? Because the Lord is pleased with me. Because the Lord is pleased with me. That is why I get to know these things. He reveals the secret things of his kingdom to me. He reveals the secret things of his kingdom to me. Because he loves me. And he calls me his own. So you don't need to be afraid of no witches and wizards. They are powerless. They are powerless. Witches and wizards are powerless. You left your house. You are sleeping in a church. You left your house. You are following people that don't even have power. Some of you, you are even more, you are even more stronger than the people that you are looking up to. <laughs> some of you, the people that you are looking up to. I am telling you something. When I look at some of you, some of you are prophets. Some of you are strong people in the calling. But because you don't know who you are. If you don't know who you are, you will settle for anything. The problem with a person who does not know what they want and who they are is by settling for anything. If you don't know your worth, anybody will come and take advantage of you. But it doesn't matter whether they know your worth. You need to know your worth. Come on, guys. Go ahead and share the video. Go ahead and share the video. Go ahead and share the video. Maybe I should stop, right? Maybe you guys want me to stop. Should I stop? We have not even used. Are we done? Have we done two hours? Are we up to two hours? I see that you people are tired, and I don't like. I don't like when you people leave me. I like when you people are with me. I like it when you are with me. I don't like it when you are not with me. Is Adama on this broadcast? Adama, is she on this broadcast? Is Adama on this broadcast? Is Adama on this broadcast? Favor me. Favor me. Favor me. Is she on this broadcast? Adama, are you on this broadcast? Favor me. Are you on this broadcast? They are not here, right? They have gone to where they will not be located. <laughs> hey, may the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus. May, they, may you not miss the day God comes looking for you. May you not miss the day of your blessing. I am asking, is Adama here? She's not here, right? Is favor me here? May you not miss your blessings. When the angels come with your blessings to deliver your blessing, may you not miss your blessings. As I was talking for Sister Mary, I see these two people under the yoke of the enemy, Adama and, and Favor me. As I was talking for Mary, I saw Adama and Favor me in the same yoke of the enemy. This Adama, last year, the mother that gave birth to her, neglected her the mother that brought her to this world neglected her the mother said you are a witch i don't want a child like you i cannot give birth to a child that is like you i cannot give birth to a child that is like you she cried the mother sent her packing from the house your mother that gave birth to you he sent her packing from the house she came on this broadcast. She did not tell me anything. She, just, she doesn't know me. She came on the broadcast. And I called her. I said, where is your mother? Why is it that your mother has turned you to a slave? How come your mother says that you are a witch, that she doesn't want you? How many of you remember that prophecy? How many of you remember that prophecy? How many of you remember that prophecy? And she said, mommy, I don't know what is happening. And I said to her, take a step of faith. Take a leap of faith. She took. I said, any number that you want your mother to contact you, stand there. 
I think she took like seven steps or eight steps and she stood. And I called back her mother. I said, come back for your child. Come back for your child. Come back for your child. The mother went to look for her. The mother who sent her packing went to look for her. And when she came for the New Jersey program, the Lord delivered her. This girl, you know that we are all beautifully and preciously made. But when you look at this lady, you will know that she is not preciously made by God. That was her life. The day I called her on the live broadcast, she was looking like a mad woman. How many people remember? How many people remember? The day I called her on the live broadcast, she was looking like a mad woman. Her hair was tattered. Her mouth was long. Everything about her was wretched. But after her deliverance, I cannot count the number of demons that came out of her. She, the, the demons were speaking demons. They began to profess what they have done to her. And I told them, whatever you did to her, undo it. Undo it. And they took away everything. Today, the picture that you see me post yesterday with her encounter, is as a result of the deliverance I did for her. She came back and people were saying, is that Adama? Is that Aisha? Is that Aisha? Is that Aisha? She has changed. She has changed. Today, the mother holds her at high esteem. Buys her designer's clothes, designer's shoes, designer's bag. What is it that our God cannot do? I am telling you something that the witches and wizards can do to you. Making enmity to come between you and your own parents. Changing your foundation. And people begin to hate you. Today, Adama and her mother are close friends. Close friends, best friends. The same mother who did not want to see her child. The same mother who didn't want to see her child. The child had to leave the house. And go back and be living with people. When your mother is living abroad. You don't have documents. But your mother is, a, is, a, is American. You don't have documents in a, in a country. You don't understand what I am telling you about the God of Heaven Chapel. She was living in America with her. I'm not saying auntie. I say a real mother. The mother was ashamed of her. He said, no, you cannot be my daughter. I am taking you back to Africa. The mother wanted to return her to Africa. I say, you see this place? You see this place? They that know their God, they will do exploits. I didn't tell her, go and fast. So. I didn't tell her, read some. I didn't tell her anything. But today, today, her bedroom, she went back. They came back and looked for her. They gave her a room. Gave her a room. Bought her clothes. Took care of her. And my question is, if they have sent her to Africa, when they had COVID-19, when they had coronavirus, who would have taken care of them? If they have taken her to Africa, when they had COVID-19, who would have taken care of them? My daughter was in that house with them. The two of them were infected with coronavirus. But my daughter was not infected with it. She was not infected. But they were both infected. And she took care of them. Do not neglect your child. Because there are rainy days that will come. Do not neglect your parents. Because there are rainy days that will come. Let me tell you that the Bible says train up a child in a way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Some of you, the reason you're suffering today is as a result of a bad parent. Some of you, the reason you're suffering today is as a result of a bad mother. That is why calamity, stagnation, limitation has come upon your life. Because you cannot train your children in the ways of the Lord. 
So you don't have any blessing from the Lord in returns. You cannot discipline your children. Some of you, because of prophecies, they have told you that your mother and your father is a witch. And you have not gone to see your parents. If you're under the sound of my voice, if you're under the sound of my voice, go and look for your mother. Go and make peace with your children. Go and make peace with your children. And I'm talking about the God that can change your captivity. And I'm talking about the God that can change your sorrow into dancing. The God that can make you to rejoice. And I'm talking about that God. I don't know where you are worshipping your God. I don't know who is speaking into your life. I don't know the coverage that you have on your head. But I am telling you, if the devil could manipulate the heart of a mother against her own child, who are you that your uncles cannot manipulate? Who are you that your aunties cannot manipulate? If the devil could manipulate a heart of a mother against her own daughter, and you think it is that woman who was doing it. No, it was the devil. It was the devil. It was the devil. Say, I am proud that I connected to Evan Chapel. I am happy that I connected to this ministry. If you don't even know what prayer to pray, always tell the Lord. I am pleased that I connected. A God that is a story changer. A God that is a story changer. I am telling you things that can make your life to move forward. If you do not know the principles of life, if you do not know the Bible, you will spend your life on live broadcasts. Writing, woman of God, locate me. Man of God, locate me. You will spend the rest of your life in the church shouting, God, locate me. Why? Because you do not know the Bible. When you know the word of God and you read the, Bible, the word of God and you believe, Things will fall in place for you. You don't need prophecies to move your life forward. I am a prophetess, but I tell you the truth the way it is. I tell you these things the way it is. If the devil could manipulate a mother's heart against her own child, who are you? That you feel that the devil cannot manipulate your marriage? You feel that the devil cannot manipulate your ministry? You feel that the devil cannot manipulate your generation? Do not be equally yoked with an unbeliever. That's what the Bible says. Do not be equally yoked with an unbeliever. They will rubbish God and you are sitting down there laughing. You hear them rubbish God. You hear them make mockery of God. You cannot slap them and tell them, shut up, God is not your mate. Don't play with God. He is not your mate. You will keep quiet, you will laugh. Some of you, you're living a double life. When you are on the broadcast, you are a born-again Christian. After the broadcast, you are a club girl. Church day, you are a church girl. After the church broadcast, you start your life again. How long are you going to continue to be a chameleon? How long are you going to, to, to hide under your coverage? Since you started hiding under your coverage, what has it done for you? But you need to come to Jesus. You need to come to Jesus so that Jesus can do something for you. And you will be proud to say, What have you not done for me? What have you not done for me? Jesus, what have you not done for me? I say, what have you not done for me? You can imagine that. She says, mommy, I have come to the U.S. This is my second time of coming to the U.S. And her life was like that. Until the God of this ministry visited her. If you don't know who you are, you will spend your life. In, in broadcasts, typing, woman of God, look at me. Man of God, look at me. Woman of God, look at me. Man of God, look at me. And as soon as you log in, they are praying. Instead of you to join the prayer, back up, you log out. You're looking for where they are giving prophecies. You're looking for where they are giving prophecies. Be careful. Be careful. There is a way that seemed right unto a man. 
For the end therefore is dead. Ekpeme. Oh, oh, we did a mbufo. Ekpeme. Oh, oh, we did a mbufo. Ekpeme. Oh, oh, we did a mbufo. We woro ekpo ngosom. E woro ekpo ngosom. Be careful so that somebody will not lead you astray. Be careful so that somebody will not take you away from God's presence. Be careful so that you will not leave the place of grace to a place of grass. Remember so that you will not leave the place of honor to a place of shame. Be careful so that you will not tread your bed right. Don't be like Esau. Be careful so that people will not mislead you. Be careful. Be careful. Because the time is very close. Night is drawing nigh. Now the day is over. Night is drawing nigh. How many people sound that song in the school? The night is drawing nigh. Be careful. So that somebody will not take you from the place of grace to a place of grass. Somebody will not take you from your place of honor to a place of shame. Somebody will not take you from the presence of God to the presence of shrine. Be careful. Miracle seekers. Miracle watchers. Be careful. There is a way that seemed right unto a man. But the end thereof is late. It's dead. Be careful. So that when you are running from place to place, prayer house to prayer house, drink water you drink. You will drink which? When they tell you to drink the water from the church, make sure that it's your own water. Because some of you, you have drawn witches from taking water from the bowl of churches, prayer band places to drink. You have drunk witches. Some of you, because of where your problems have led you to, you have dropped your stars where you went. Some of you, because of looking for miracle money and miracle cars, you have left your, your, your thing. You have exchanged your destiny. Just like Esau did for a for, for, for a pig, for a for, for a portion of porridge. For a portion of porridge, he sold his bed right. Some of you are like that. You sold your bed right. You will go. They will cut fruit. You put and you eat. You don't know where the fruit came from. Why can you not carry your own fruit and go? When they eat, you eat. At least you know that that one is from your house. As the children of God are opening churches, the children of Satan, they have also opened churches. Because we are in the end time. Where the Bible says what? This sign shall follow them that believe. We are in the end time. We are in the end time. We are in the end time. Where everybody is hiding under the tree. To manifest what the devil has given to them. So please, people of God, be careful. Be careful. Do not allow the problems that you see today to take your life. Do not allow the love of earthly things to cut your, your life short. Do not allow your love for earthly things to put your, your neck into an untimely grave. Do not allow your love for the earthly things to send you to your early grave. Do not kill your parents for the love of money. Do not sacrifice your sibling for the love of money. Do not tarnish people for the love of power. Do not tarnish people for the love of power. Do not watch and pray. The Bible says what? Watch and pray. Wait on the Lord. All the people that died. I know somebody that bought a car. In the beginning of this year, the Lord says, the Lord gave me a vision in the beginning of the year. He says 2020 is a year where you will be seated with somebody and the next thing you will hear that the person is no more. How many of you heard it? That is what God told me. And I'm asking you, your pastors and your prophets, what did God tell them? Because the year is running to an end. And when God gives 
prophet's revelation in the beginning of the year. As the year progresses, you will begin to see the revelation that God gave to his anointed. That this is how the year would be. God says that in the year 2020, that testimonies, breakthrough, miracles, signs and wonders shall accompany souls. And you are seeing it. I don't speak except God speaks. Of all the gifts that God has given to me, the prophetic office is the one I don't like. You know why I don't like it? Because so many people have gambled it, use it to do nonsense. And it is no longer sweet. May the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus. I will go and see whether she has taken the correction. Let me see whether she took correction. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. The money that you do not have today, it will come. The money that you don't have today, it will come. Don't go and be so desperate that you need to sell your soul to the devil. Some of you sold yourself, your souls to the devil to buy car. And at the same time, you had an accident and you died. There is a lady here. I needed to visit her. I needed to talk to her. But she's not there. I needed to talk to her. I needed to talk to her, but she's not there. Okay, so... Um... I still went back to the page. So even after all that I have said, a meme team did not still go and do it. Even after I have finished saying it, a meme team still refused to go and host the watch party. You see that that is how people like that perish. Even after I corrected her, she still refused to go and host the watch party on her timeline. She still refused to go and do it. So tell me how somebody like that can come to this place and receive. Tell me how somebody like that can come here and receive. I just went back to check to see if she did what I asked her to do so that I can speak in her life. But I still went back and saw that she did not do it. Disobedience can send you to an early grave. What if the thing I want to tell her in this meeting happens tonight? Who will she blame? What if what I want to tell her today happens in her life tonight? Who will she blame? Will she blame God or will she blame me? Will she blame God or will she blame me? Even after I said it, she did not still go to do what I told her to do. May the Lord have mercy upon her in the name of Jesus. May the Lord have mercy upon her in the name of Jesus. May the Lord have mercy upon her in the name of Jesus. I have so many files to read. I have so many files to read. But I am going to stop there for today. I bless the name of the Lord for all of you. I am going to stop there for today. I'm going to stop there for today. I told you guys that... Um, I told you guys that... Um, if you are... I know we have 347 people watching. But unfortunately, I cannot continue. If the Lord blesses me to come back later in the day, I will come back. If God blesses me to come back later in the day, I will come back. If God blesses me later in the day to come back, I will come back. But for now, I will leave it there. For now, I will leave it there. For now, I will leave it there. If God blesses me later in the day to come back i will come back if god blesses me later in the day to come back i will come back if the lord blesses me later in the day to come back i will come back i am going to be traveling like i said i'm going to be i'm going to be gone for three two to three hours drive joining to outside my town so if I arrived and I'm not feeling the spirit of where I am, if I arrive and I don't feel the spirit of where I am, I will just go out and I will come and do my live broadcast. So just keep me in your prayer. I love you with the love of God. Every storm is broken. You're going to see the manifestation power of Jesus. 
you're going to see the manifestation power of Jesus. For those of you that don't know how to host, somebody says, um, I wouldn't mind you come back, woman of God, so I can listen to you some more. God bless you, Corey Johnson. May the storm be broken for your sake in the name of Jesus. I will see what I can do. If I am able to come back, I will come back. And it's still prophecy. If not, I am still going to spend four hours with you tomorrow. I will still spend four hours with you on Monday. I will still spend four hours with you on Tuesday. That is if I am motivated. You guys know how it works with me, right? Right now, you are the one dulling my spirit. That's why I feel to disconnect. You are the one dulling my spirit. That's why I feel to disconnect. I need people to share. I need people to host watch party. I need people to be with me. This is what moves me. People's grace are different. And that, that is how my own works. So help me with what works for me. That is how my grace works. Just forget about how it works for other people. Just follow the one that works for me. This is how my own grace works. This is how I am motivated. This is how I get into the realm of the spirit. It's just me. It's just me. People flow differently. But that is just me. So give me what I want and you will get what you want. It is simple. In seeing the multitude, the, the disciple went to Jesus. And they told Jesus, the multitude are waiting for you. Jesus was attracted by the multitude. And he went and he started preaching. Jesus was not preaching. To just people. It was preaching to the multitude. That is what you need to know. That is the mind you need to follow. In seeing the multitude. Go and read the book of Matthew. In seeing the multitude. When he saw the multitude. He said no. I cannot let them go. I need to go and give it to them. And he went. So if you are a true prophet. If you are a true servant of God. You will know. That soul winning is the heartbeat of Jesus. And you are moved by it. So I love you guys. And I am going to see you guys. Remember, it is still my birthday week. Thank you for all the parcels. Thank you for all the money. Some people have been sending money. Some people have been sending gifts. Some people have been sending in their videos. I've been having a lot of beautiful time watching the videos and just laughing. Some people's video is so, like, it's so creative. My mom, Sone... Eh? My mom sent her video in. Oh my God. You, this is to tell you people that this thing is not a joke. My mother that gave birth to me is not doing familiarity and saying it's my daughter. My mother that gave birth to me is not doing familiarity and saying it's my daughter. She connected to what God said. If you celebrate her, celebration will come in your home. My mother followed and did the video. So if you are not doing it, you are on your own. You saw when my father called me. I told him to join the live broadcast. If you are not connecting, you are on your own. My siblings, when they call me and say, Sister Kate, this, that. I say, join the live broadcast. Let God speak. Don't call me, otherwise I will tell you what I know. I know. But when you join the live broadcast, God will speak to you. My mother did the, the video. I will first of all start with my mother. I will post her own face. Unfortunately, most of you might not understand my language. Because I think she started with English, but she prayed in my language. And she ended with English again. Because she's very educated. So you need to know. Many are called, but few are chosen. There are people. It is not, I've been doing bad days since I've been on Facebook. I've been doing bad days day since I started ministry. But I wasn't late. And God came up this way. And he went and revealed himself to another lady. And told the lady, do it so that you'll be blessed. Do it so that celebration will come in your home. Do it. If you have never celebrated anybody, celebrate God's anointed. And let celebration come to you. Do it and tell God, Father, this is, in fact, this is the last. But I am doing my widow's might. It's the widow's might. Just to connect to the grace. Father, let the last. It might be little. But the spirit, the love I'm giving it with. Let it be all that matters. That's how people when they were showing up, doing this, doing this, doing this. 
But the one who gave little, Jesus says, I have seen it because of the heart that you're using to give. Not because you have. Do it for what God said so that you will see the result. Love, 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 love. I love you guys. God be with you. Yeah, we made again. God be with you till we may again. God be with you till we may again. I love you so much. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for supporting the ministry. Thank you for saving God with me. Yesterday we ended with 240 something people after four hours and today is after two hours and we are ending with 337 i will definitely come back by the special grace of god and i will finish up with you guys but if i don't come back i will come back well whilst we are going to be on the long drive if i have internet connection i am going to carry my book with me if i have internet connection i'll just be reading your revelation and you guys will take note of it so stay connected to Sister Mary if you're going to host the meeting. If it's not late, you can go ahead and host the meeting. But if it is late, don't worry. You can always do it another day. For the people that got the impartation of the Holy Spirit yesterday and you commented on it, I will react to it. You will be impacted with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Remember that in the first of January, we are starting our 40 days of midnight prayer. 40 days of midnight prayer. We are finishing this prayer on the 30th. And January the 1st, July the 1st, my God, I am jumping the year already. I cannot wait for the new year. And on July the 1st, we'll be starting our midnight prayer. So stay connected. Keep connecting. Thank you for the watch parties. Thank you for everything that you do for God. Thank you. God bless you. I love you guys with the precious love of our God. Heaven and last. Shalom.